here's the method. Now, what I'd like to do is make a vector. So I'm going to key in a equals 0, colon, starting from 0, incrementing each number by 2. I want up to and including 6. Hit enter. I get these numbers 0, 2, 4, 6. So I have a vector with one row and 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. Let's make another. I don't call it vector this time. I'll call it a matrix because I'm going to put in square brackets and I'm going to specify that I want a row in the first row I want numbers 1, 2, 3, semicolon. Row 2 I want numbers 4, 5, 6. Notice they are space delimited, semicolon. And in the last row I want row I want numbers 7, 8, and 9. Now the last row I don't put a semicolon. I just put the end square bracket and bavin, there it goes. I got rows 1, 2, 3, row 1, 1, 2, 3, row 2, 4, 5, 6, row 3, 7, 8, 9. So here I have a vector with one row and many columns. One row, many columns. Here I have a matrix. There's three rows, multiple rows, it's got lots of columns. Wow. If I want to see the contents of A one more time, I just key in the letter A and hit enter. There they are. If I want to see the contents of B, I just hit enter. Hit B, key in B and hit enter, that is. And there they are. Pop right up. But I'm looking at my array, my matrix B, and I really can't tell uh, what's at, what's in my array B, and position, open friends, 2, comma, row 2, column 2. You could tell me what it is. That's called slicing. Why do I get a 5 there? Let's see if this works. Row 2, that's this row, in column. Here's column 1, here's column 2. And there we go, we get a 5. So if I were to key in B, open parens, 3, comma, 3, I should get the 9. And I get the 9. Amazing. Well, I key in the letter A again, and I get my first vector that we keyed in, which is 0, 2, 4, and 6. I wonder if I can get just a slice of that, just like two numbers. Let me try and do that. I'll key in A, and then I'm going to hit the open parentheses. Then I'm going to key in all the second column through the third column and this is the second column here this is the third column let's see what it gives me if it gives me the two and the four back oh that's amazing it does exactly that what if I wanted column two three and four I could key in a open parens two colon four and it gives me all three numbers that is just amazing what if I did this keyed in a two and a colon and oh, I forgot to put in the last number, and I hit enter. I'm going to get an error. So you need to give the need to specify uh, the beginning and end point of your range. That must be specified. Well, I'm way down at the bottom of my screen. I want to clear off this window. So I go to view. I click on view, and I go down to where it says and. Um, edit, pardon me, and I go to clear command window. Oh my goodness, that's hard to see here, but <laughs> that's where it is. Clear command window, and oh, it worked. Edit and clear command window. Now here's my B array. See these numbers here, 5, 6, and 8, 9? They're in rows 2 and 3 and columns 2 and 3, respectively. I don't want to use the same numbers. Let's go for row 2 and 3, but I only want to see 4, 5, and 7, and 8. How would I, how would I slice off a little section like that? Let me try. First thing I do is I key in uh, the name of the array, which would be B, and I'd open parentheses, and I'd say I want to see everything in column one, uh, no, column two, through column three, comma. Uh, how did I do that? Row two to row three, comma, and I want it because it's a row column. That's how I do this. So rows two and three, and I want to get um, what did I say? Columns one through 2. Yep, that's what I got. That's what I, I got to get. I think that's going to give me 4, 5, 7, and 8. Let's see. And oh my goodness, that's exactly what it gives me. 4, 5, 7, 8. That is just a minute. And that about brings us to the end of this very short session. I want to keep them all short and sweet. And so this is George Bull signing off. How do I know?